Now another thing that may um, happen is that the plants once they're in and, and growing may show signs of virus. It doesn't often um, happen but to me I think this one is see the sort of general uh, mosslin to the leaf. I mean the growing tip looks quite fine and looks like it may be growing okay in that respect but to me that's <coughs> the start of a, a mosaic virus and the plant will never perform and you don't really want to spread it to the others so that would be another one that if you pull it out of the ground that is that goes on a compost heap just you can see now though that in that week these roots are really coming out of the pot and out into the ground which is always nice to nice to know and that will go in the bin for the dustman it won't go on the compost heap they really don't want that composting in and it again another spare plant will go in its spot we can see that you know generally the plants are not looking like the one that pulled out this is a plant of uh, Mary's Jamanda now it's one of 40 and I've got plants at two various stages this would have still got the growing tip um, intact in the middle and others that I've already stopped um, in the pot and they're starting to break out now first week of June is where I try to start making decisions about whether I'm going to be growing a single or a double stop plants like Mary's Demanda where I'm going to need at least sort of 16 flowers to the plant it's pretty much a no-brainer um, you're never going to get 16 shoots from one stop now I would tend to go about there on this so we're just removing the tip and the first pair of leaves um, if this was a single stop we'd probably go lower down but we're not going to get the breaks so that's now removed and as you can see the side breaks are already starting to come anyway and should give us about eight um, shoots there once those are stopped probably down to about uh, one to two pairs that's going to give us at least 20 um, shoots to select for flowering so anything like the miniatures or any any plant that you're probably growing more than about eight to ten up <coughs> now's the time really to uh, just take the tops out and get those side breaks going away as strongly as you can now a plant like this being Dave's choice um, it's an indecision it's not as big as I'd probably like it um, I would normally give them all a double stop um, so whether to, to stop it or not I'm just not quite sure uh, what I would probably do is leave it for another week it, you know we've got about two weeks where you can put in the first stop instead of achieve a second stop even if on the plant this size that second stop is a week or so a uh, week or two later than normal I've got 60 plants of this um, eight up that's a lot of hours I haven't done the maths um, but probably in, in excess of about 360 flowers something like that so I don't want them all in a week um, it doesn't matter if I spread them out a little bit so I'll probably just leave this alone and just see if the side shoots start developing if they do then I'll, I'll have a tendency to always pinch them out and, and develop those side shoots without the growing tip um, just to get them as strong as possible now a plant like this um, which is also Dave's choice there's no um, failure in leaving that growing tip in, in the centre there it wouldn't surprise me if there wasn't a bud forming in there but given that we're not going to be stopping this till um, the very end of June maybe the first week of July where the, the side shoots are already developing in the sides there in the axle give them another three four weeks they're going to be probably four or five inches long so then removing the growing tip like that is of no benefit whatsoever we haven't actually stopped the plant it hasn't had a, a clean stop um, so I would tend on this to go further down 
to about there so we've removed a fairly substantial amount and again that's going to leave us about five or six shoots um, to grow our way strongly all that energy is going into those six shoots and then we'll give it a second stop um, towards the end of the month early part of July so any of that like that we'll be getting there first stop anything that is uh, smaller I will probably just hold for a week in which time they'll probably be similar size to what, what this one is now this is a plant of Winholm Diane looks a nice strong healthy plant but when we look into it again you can see it's already developing um, quite key side shoots um, now I'm only going to be growing this six up maybe seven I still haven't decided and there is no way that that will hold even up, up the north um, <coughs> to producing buds somewhere around about early part of August um, which is what we're looking for so I tend to do this to, to all varieties but this one um, there's no doubt um, it needs stopping now again there is no value in just taking out that tip um, it's not going to do a lot <coughs> we're going to still leave probably about 10 shoots to come I only want to grow 6 those 10 will end up getting double stopped so it's time to, to really get the knife and I look into the plant and I really only want there's a pair at the base 2, 4 so first cut I will probably come in here it's a bit hard doing this one handed and take at least that <coughs> and the plant is shrinking and then rather than trying to get in there with the knife that side shoot that side shoot will come out and possibly um, another two but at the moment that's two, four, six and a little stubby pair at the base um, which don't always develop if they do I shall probably take the, the two out the top um, but it's going to give us six shoots possibly eight where all the energy is going into those six um, and then I will be stopping these side breaks back to the single pair um, in about four or five weeks time by which time these shoots are, are going to be you know, probably about six or seven inches if not longer so I'm now going to be feeding these and at least I know that I'm not feeding an excessive number of plant breaks on the plant and this plant will, will soon um, really fill out from that so I'll go through the, the wind homes and, and do the same same to them Oakwood Goldcrest um, now with Goldcrest it's not the fastest of growers it's not the earliest of flowers this sort of size plant I'm probably going to be quite happy to leave. I'm going to be growing it eight up. Um, I would normally get eight, at least eight shoots from a single stop, so those I'd leave alone. Now, these are the same variety. It's just a, a, an earlier batch, and they're they're doing what the Winholms were doing. They started to produce the side breaks, um, and now we'll again go into the plant. It's better to grow a thumb now than it is sometimes to have a knife. And, and take out a, a reasonable piece of that plant as a first stop um, and then again to take those two off they tend to be the ones that, that romp away and I'd rather the, the power goes into the lower breaks um, so there's at least four there I'm sure there'll be a couple more coming from the base and so those I'm only going to grow eight up so there's no value in having more than that to get all the energy that we're putting into the plant into the, the least number of shoots that we need to let's see the rest of those plants there will get the same treatment 